Howdy folks, I'm Warloff the Werewolf. I'm Amber. And here's some full moon howling. Ow. I think I've been a werewolf before. I don't know if you have, but... Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. Let me know if I've been a werewolf before. <laughs> Somebody should keep track of all these. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks, our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for not acting impressed by my wife's accomplishment and yes i'm saying that as disparaging as possible because that's the emphasis that this guy has i'm a 28 year old male and my wife is a 26 year old female and i and she have been married for close to seven years we currently have five kids together a six-year-old male a four-year-old male a three-year-old female and my wife gave birth to fraternal twins son and daughter a year and a half ago my wife intended to graduate high school the year that we got married, but life got in the way. My dad had given me an investor relations type role at his company, so we were traveling a lot, and then after that, our kids needed our attention. After our twins were born, my wife was bedridden for longer than we and even the doctors had expected. Since we had to hire extra hands to do the childcare tasks that involved mobility, my wife had some time on her hands. Her mother told her that her friend who proctors at a testing center said that they give the GED tests basically every week, at least across the state of Idaho, and that she should dust off her general education knowledge. She started browsing her laptop and decided to enroll in a GED prep class online. It seems that she was better at self-paced learning than classroom learning because the stuff that they were testing her came way easier to her now than it ever did, though she's been away from structured learning for many years now. Even after she was back on her feet, she'd be studying for it after she dropped the older two off to their respective schools. I would see what she was studying and it looked pretty rudimentary. And I knew that getting a GED basically means nothing and that she's probably wouldn't even be able to apply it to anything career wise or commit full time to community college where I doubt the job prospects for students are that great now either. So my wife ended up taking the test and the other day she bounded into the room and said, yes, I passed, I passed. I knew that she would since she was doing well on the practice tests and the GED consistently tests on the same rudimentary topics. I did not gripe at her, but merely nodded at her and went back to answering my very important email from a client. My wife seemed to get upset and asked her what was wrong. She said that I didn't seem excited and that I said it was great that she passed, but I have been telling her that it was easy and no big deal. But if she needed something to prove to herself, she knew the high school concepts. I guess the money was well spent. She even got even more upset at me and said that she worked very hard at this and was essentially building blocks to begin to be able to start a career. Am I the jerk? My wife passed her GED test, but she wasn't exactly graduating from college and wouldn't be it for at least 15 years. I just didn't see any immediate applicability to her test, but I'm glad that she had something to challenge her while she was coming off of being unable to fully care for our kids. All right, folks, have you had your level of insufferability yet? <laughs> jerk or not the jerk? Jerk times a thousand. Oh my good lord, dude. Your wife put her life on hold for you. Yeah. Your daddy handed you a job that made it so she couldn't finish school and she just went with you. And she's been taking care of your kids this whole time, even though it's clearly been physically taxing on her body. Yeah. And she had this accomplishment she really was proud of and you just completely dismissed her. Well, and I think back to what Amber was saying. She was able to take care of the kids while you went on these business trips. Mm -hmm. And going on those business trips was vital for you building your career and you are doing 
not enough to appreciate the work and effort that she's put into this relationship that has allowed you to succeed. Mm -hmm. So you are for sure in my book, The Jerk, because she has done so much to help you here and been so supportive of you, yet you're like, ah, oh, whatever. She's just not going to even use this stuff. I don't know why she would even bother. It sounds like Obi just wants to keep her down. Yeah. You know, I mean, because he keeps being so dismissive of her career prospects. I think he just doesn't like the idea that she might, you know, quote unquote, do something with herself. And that's really sad if that's the case. Or he just has to tear everyone else down so he feels good about himself. He really seems like the kind of person who likes to tear people down so that he can feel better about himself. So I think that you're onto something there. His attitude really needs a major adjustment mm -hmm. is really what it boils down to. Because this doesn't sound like your partner. It sounds like you're writing about someone you hate. Yeah. And like, Do you even love your wife? I don't think he does. I think he sees her as like free childcare. He's so mad that she had to be on bed rest. Like he, he tells us that twice mm -hmm. in this post as if she can control what happens to her body after this, ma like giving birth to twins is a very major thing. Yeah. Real gross attitude. This guy has to be on the Hall of Fame or for some of the worst people we've read here. <laughs> I, You know, OP, I want to end this on a positive note. You really need to take some time and appreciate your wife's accomplishments. You need to take some time and figure out what's valuable to you in life. Is your wife valuable to you in life? If not, then you're just stringing her along. Maybe you need to go into therapy. Maybe you need to get over yourself and your ego. There are a lot of things that you can celebrate with someone. I think GEDs are a great first step forward. And I think that is a really powerful accomplishment that your wife has made. And she's setting forth and doing a great job. She can use this knowledge to help her succeed further in life. And you're just dismissing it. This is as good as her getting a high school diploma. So anyhow, take care and good luck. To OP's wife on finding a better partner. Yeah. And Pilot Environmental 46 says, You're the jerk. A major jerk. Your wife is trying to look after five children and found the time to get her GED. Why don't you let her go out of town for a week and see how hard it is to look after five small children? Would it have killed you to get up and hug her and tell her how proud you are of her? Maybe take her out to dinner one night and celebrate. Wow, I hope this isn't indicative of the respect that you give the rest of her the rest of the time. Well, my concern is it is. It sounds like that is all the time. Yeah, it really does. And I wanted to read this one comment here because Pancake says, I'm honestly shocked that he was able to type this while patting himself on the back. Well, he, he thinks he's the best and yeah. he's like, it's like your dad handed you a job. He doesn't recognize everything that everyone else does for him. It's like your dad helped you get a job. Your wife is here taking care of your five children, including two twins. Mm -hmm. There are so many, it, it, the world doesn't revolve around you. All right, folks, our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for taking my kids to my parents' house to sleep because my husband will not enforce the rules when his parents visit? We live three blocks away from my parents and they see our kids almost every day. My husband's parents live a couple of states away and only see the kids a few times a year. It's easy when we go to see them since we only visit when the kids are off school, but when they come to see us at random intervals throughout the year. Not a problem really, they are excellent grandparents with one small exception. They think that our rules go out the window when they visit. It's mean that we don't make our kids their favorite food every day. Why can't the kids watch television with them before they do their chores and homework? Why do the kids have to be in bed so early? It drives me crazy that I'm the bad guy because my husband won't put his foot down so I have to. They came last week. On Monday, as soon as dinner was over, they wanted the kids to pay attention to them. They wanted to take the kids to see Avatar on a school night. My husband allowed it. Last straw, I told him that he knew that throwing the kids off their schedule would mess me over. So I gave him the choice of either enforcing our rules or I would. He said that he would take care of it. Well, the second night, there was a hockey game on. 
he wanted to watch it with our son who loves hockey. I reminded my husband that our son had chores to do and homework. He said that it was just a hockey game. I told the kids to get their stuff. I took them and I took a change of clothes and their homework to my parents' house. My mom and dad will watch them and then take them to school in the morning. I went back home and they were waiting for me. I'm being a controlling and abusive person by denying them time with the kids. I'm not the only person allowed to make decisions regarding the kids. They came all this way to see them and I'm being a jerk by keeping them on a schedule. Fine. They are visiting for a couple weeks. Wednesday after I pick up the kids from school and drop them off at home with my in-laws. Then I went out for the first time in ages. I told my husband that I would be out late and I didn't want to wake anyone up so I would be at my parents house. Did the same thing on Tuesday. My husband has been calling me and texting me to come over and tells me that I need to come home because the house is a disaster because his parents won't do anything. They are in vacation and they are there to see the kids and not clean up. The kids are having fun with no rules and has been contacted by the school because no homework was turned in on Thursday or Friday. I didn't answer those texts. I said that I would be back after his parents left or he started enforcing the rules. He said that I was taking this too far and that it was affecting his work. Honestly, tough. Edit. My son just texted me about his gym clothes for today. I guess he never put them in the hamper and they didn't get washed. Now I'm wondering what else my husband didn't do. Edit 2 for some information. Kids are 9 and 11. My in-laws visit 4 or 5 times a year for at least a week. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. Your husband needs to be an equal parent. He mm -hmm. can't just be the fun one when his parents are here. He's been letting you shoulder the bar burden for way too long. And so you removed yourself from the equation. You gave them what they wanted. And now they're just crying for you to come back and institute order because he's realized it's absolute chaos. Yeah, I think it's one of those situations where you don't appreciate what you have until it is gone. Mm -hmm. Well, and I like how he's like, this is affecting my work when he knows it affects OP's work when she's the one who's primarily taking care of the kids, it sounds like. Yeah, there's a certain level of hypocrisy here. Hopefully, he will learn his lesson and actually start to enforce the rules here because he's just not pulling an equal part. And I agree with Amber here completely. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, our last letter is titled, Am I a jerk for telling my wife to lighten up over a cheating joke? that my coworker made. My wife and I ran into our coworker earlier today. He has never met her. I introduced her to him. He jokes around often, and when I introduced them to each other, he said, oh, I thought Alexis was your wife. She's a coworker. Him and I laughed, but not my wife. He noticed because she got serious and said, I'm kidding, nice to meet you. After we got home, my wife asked me who Alexis was. I told her that she's a coworker. She then asked me, so what's that all about? I told her that if she's serious and it was clearly a joke and that she needs to lighten up a little bit, that didn't help. She said to never laugh at things like that. I thought that it was a harmless joke. Needless to say, she wasn't happy still when I left. Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Yes, you're the jerk. What is the punchline of the joke that you're cheating on your wife? Yeah, um, it's funny because he has a work wife and he's uh, married to his work wife. Like, how is your how is that supposed to be funny for your wife? The joke here is that you're cheating. Like, what is this doing other than causing suspicions in your wife's mind? Yeah, I think Amber has a good point there. This is really just creating suspicion it's creating doubt in the relationship sometimes people do have these work wife type of situations where they'll be paired up with a person a lot on projects and they start to develop a sometimes even a emotionally infidel uh in unfaithful relationship right and i think that there is a risk of that here just by how your friend so easily joked by about that and it does not bode well, I don't think. Mm -hmm. So let me know what you folks think. Are we rampantly speculating about this being a work wife? Or is OP 
in the clear. <laughs> Why is his coworker making this joke if there isn't something there is my question. And Livid Rip says, Not the jerk, Alexis probably would have found it funny. And OP replies, knowing her, she probably would, lol. And this, these were both downvoted <laughs> a ton by like thousands. And AKA Mike David says, you're the jerk. You saw that your wife didn't laugh at your co-worker's comment, so it has to bother her. Also, the fact that you've never mentioned Alexis would raise concerns for her. This would have been the time to explain why your coworker would think that about Alexis to assuage her concerns, not to brush them off as a joke. Is there any reason why your wife knows nothing about Alexis? And OP says, my wife doesn't know anything about most of my coworkers, including the ones that I introduced her to. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here and Amber has some tea called a joke. We've got a special Valentine's related joke since that's coming up soon. What did the stamp say to the envelope on Valentine's Day? The stamp said to the envelope on Valentine's Day, it's been a while. I, I know that we've been kind of on the outs with each other for a while, but I think, I think that I know I can't live without you and I want us to spend the rest of our days together and so they did the stamp then joined the envelope and they they lived happily ever after and it was just they they you know built each other up and it was a, a really great nice relationship and it was so just lovely. Not like OP in the first story. No, certainly not like OP in the first story, or OP in the second story, or even OP in the third story. It was very much opposite of all three <laughs> of those stories. Well, OP in the second story wasn't too bad. It was her husband who was very well, much. Well, I mean, the husband her. in the yeah. second. Oh, I mean, I guess you're right. Like, yeah. I meant, like, the relationship yeah, the dynamics. Yeah. I'm stuck on you is the oh, punchline. Well, you see, look, I was basically right there. I just didn't have the words. <laughs> and I have liquor spice. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Happy Tuesday, spelled T-W-O. Amber, I think we kind of foreshadowed what the moral of the story was with our joke yeah i mean i think that's a good moral build your partner up don't tear them down and be a stamp and letter envelope and st be stuck to each other i don't know if that's where we're going with this <laughs> thanks so much for watching and we will see you all tomorrow bye